In this lesson, we are going to practice using the future value and present value formula. I must apologize, in the previous videos, I was using the subscript V next to each of my F and P formulas. It's an old habit I picked up in one of, a tech, one of the textbooks I've read, but I know that most of the grade 12 schools in South Africa don't put a V over there. So if you're a bit confused with that, I do apologize. You guys typically use the formula F and P, with, and there's no little subscript V over there. All right, so here's the first question. You would like to have 100,000 Rand saved in four years. An investment scheme offers you an interest rate of 7% per year, compounded monthly. Determine your monthly payment. So let's just make sure we understand the question. You would like to have a certain amount of money saved in the future. So to get there, you're going to use an annuity. So you're going to pay regular amounts each month. Whereas in grade 11, you would make random deposits whenever you felt like it. But in a grade 12 annuity, you are going to make a regular payment and that amount that you pay is going to be the same each month. That 100,000 Rand, is that now or is that in the future? That's in the future, so let's use the future value formula. Now it's just a matter of plugging the various numbers in. So the 100,000 Rand, that is the future value, so that'll go in the place of F. X is the monthly payment. We don't know what that is, so we'll just leave that alone. The interest is 7%, which is 0 0.07, but it's compounded monthly, so we'll have to put it over 12. N is the number of payments that you make. Well. You're going to be saving for four years, and each year you're going to make 12 payments. So we could say 12 times 4. Then we just say minus 1, and then we say, at the bottom we say 0 0.07 over 12. Now it's just a matter of getting x by itself. So what students often like to do is they'll first take this part over here to the left by multiplying. And then to get x alone, you would have to divide by this big expression next to the x. And then you could go ahead and type all of that in on the calculator in one step, and you will get an answer of 1811.29. So each month you would have to save 1811 Rand and 29 cents, so that you would eventually have a final amount of 100,000 Rand in four years. Notice they didn't make any special mention of this person starting their payments later than normal or ending their payments early. So we just used, used the normal scenario by taking the number of years and timesing it by 12. In future questions, we'll see that that can sometimes change and I'll show you how to modify it when that happens. Here we have a different question. So here we have a question where you take out a loan of 50,000 Rand, so that means you go to a bank, for example, and you ask them for 50,000 Rand. They will give you the 50,000 Rand. However, you will have to pay it back over a period of three years using monthly payments because it's compounded monthly. And then the question wants us to work out that monthly payment. So we always have to make a decision between F and P. So that 50,000 Rand, is that the value of your money in the future or today? Well, that's today because you're going to get your loan today. So we'll use the P formula this time. And now it's just a matter of plugging in the different values. So the, the present value of your loan is 50,000 Rand. Your monthly payment, which is X, we don't know what that is. Oh, and I keep calling this the monthly payment. The only reason I'm saying monthly is because we are making monthly payments in this account. However, that could also be your yearly payment, your quarterly payment. There are different types. Okay, then over here we have 1 minus 1 plus. The interest rate is 12% or 0.12 compounded monthly. So I'll say over 12. And then we've got a minus. Then the N is your number of payments. Well, we're going to be paying the loan back in three years on a month by month basis. And so that's going to be 36 months because that's 12 times 3. Then the interest once again is 0.12 over 12. Now we just have to get X by itself. So once again, you could take this part to the left and then we can divide the 50,000 times by 0 0.12 over 12. We can divide it by this whole big term next to the X like that because now we have X alone. And then you can just go type this all in on the calculator and you should get a final monthly payment value of 1,660 Rand and 
72 cents.